what's up today i'm going to be showing you how to make thyme chicken drumsticks and they are going to be so delicious that you're going to make them 20 times yeah they're that good <laughs> so this recipe is very simple it has minimal spices and minimal ingredients so as i've said thyme is going to be the star of the chicken and if you don't have fresh thyme you can use dried thyme so let's get started so here i have my chicken which i've washed and party dry using my kitchen towels then i have my fresh thyme mm, it smells so good <laughs> whenever i come across fresh herbs i usually buy them because they're usually so good more than the dried ones <laughs> so first things first i'm going to add my spices so i'm going to add paprika Then I'm going to add allspice chicken and garlic powder. If you have any chicken spices you can use in this recipe. Then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Salt. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of salt. Then now I'm going to add my fresh thyme. So it's very easy to pluck the thyme leaves. All you have to do is, <laughs> is pull on the leaves going downwards yeah <laughs> just like that very easy so my time is going to give the chicken a very nice flavor and once it starts baking let me tell you it's going to smell so amazing So before you combine the spices into the chicken you're going to preheat your oven at 180 degrees celsius for 10 minutes then you're going to use a baking tin or if you don't have this you can use a baking tray and then you line it with foil so that it will be easier to wash your baking tin so also your oven temperature varies from oven to oven so you check on your manual and <laughs> you adjust to your to the right temperature according to your oven so as i've said 10 minutes then now i'm going to use my hands and massage in all the spices make sure each corner of the chicken is coated with the spices even under the skin of the chicken it's very necessary and because you dried your chicken once you washed it it's going to be very crispy on the exterior on the skin <laughs> that is what I'm trying to say so this is how it's looking after rubbing in the spices I'm going to add a tablespoon of cooking oil just a little bit then i'll continue to massage in so this is how it's looking and even under the skin i've tried to pop in my finger and <laughs> and cut the chicken we need all that flavor under the skin see once you're done cutting the chicken with the marinade you're going to cover the chicken with foil then you let it sit for around 30 minutes if you are in a hurry and if you're not in a hurry you can let it rest overnight in the fridge and trust me the following day it's going to be amazing after 30 minutes my chicken is ready to go into the oven so i'm going to pick my baking tray and then i'm going to place the chicken in the tin The chicken is going to be so good that trust me you're going to make this chicken very often. It's 
so you try and squeeze in the chicken <laughs> so that they can all fit in then i'm going to place more time in between the chicken then i'm going to add a little bit of butter in between the chicken that is about one tablespoon of butter i've just spread out the butter in the tin the butter is going to add a very buttery taste to the chicken too so you're going to bake your chicken for 40 minutes and on the 20th minute you are going to flip the chicken and then you return it in the oven to bake once more My chicken is ready and it has been resting for five minutes it's tempting but five minutes <laughs> so i'm going to baste i'm going to baste the chicken with the chicken gravy in the tins just to coat a little bit of yumness <laughs> all the combination of the spices is in the chicken gravy so make use of that wow this looks so good if you don't have a brush you can use a spoon and scoop out the chicken gravy and pour it on the chicken now i'm going to serve my chicken And trust me, if you try out this recipe, you are going to love each and every bite. The chicken is so juicy because it has been cooking in its own juices. So that is a very nice advantage because it's not dry. If you try out this recipe, you're surely going to enjoy each and every bite because the chicken is so juicy and if you're making for a large family you can double up the amount of ingredients which are listed in the description box and also you can check out some of my other chicken recipes i love chicken so i have a lot of recipes about chicken so thank you so much for watching and catch you on my next one bye